In reply, Atherton and Stewart put up some resistance, but with their departures, so too England's chances. McGrath restricting the visitors to just 22. And Mike Atherton lifted hopes. Over the top this time. Down the wicket, over the top. On a turning pitch, Tim May finally broke through. His scalp a reluctant Alex Stewart on 48. Yes, what a catch! He's waiting for the call as the batsman is saying it's a bump ball. This is very interesting. He's a judge out. Stewart thinks not. This is a very interesting situation. Umpire here officiating. It was a, one of those doubtful ones. No doubt over the next dismissal. Graham Hicks for six. Two for 112 oh, in the 29. Tim May has done it. Now that's pressure. A familiar sight developed. England's batsman struggling against the spin. Stuart Law further tightened the screws. Shout, and he's going to run into Graham Gooch now because he's got rid of the England captain. Three for 133. Atherton out for 60. Needing more than six and over, the tourists couldn't yes, resist Craig right. McDermott. He's in the air. Could this be up? Yes, he's got him. Good catch. That was hit high and down towards square leg. Two runs later, a forgettable debut for Craig White. Oh, he's bowled him. That has hit the off stump. What a disaster this is for England. Five for 149. Fortunes rested with the veteran. But Graham Gooch's support Let was thinning. Yes, he's gone. Oh, this is going to be out. And he's hit it. Yes, he's gone. Gooch surrendered in the 45th over, and beaten well, by McDermott's out. reach. That was Warren's last ball. Can you believe that? McDermott and Glenn McGrath strolled through the tail. Australia now two from two. Australia, not a one-man team.